What's up everyone? So today's video we're going to be attempting to load the tune uh, from Jay Green. He went ahead and got the uh, tune back to me already so I'm going to be trying to load this thing in and <clears throat> funny thing actually even though the TCM failed um, he did tell me that the the read file that I sent to him the other day that uh, the read file was actually his transmission tune so even though it said it failed it was actually in there so um, kind of a bittersweet. It was a good and a bad thing. It was even though it said it failed, it was in there. So um, technically, I guess we could have just ran it of all things. But let's. Uh, I don't want to jinx anything again. But let's go ahead and we're gonna um, try and load his files correctly without failure. Is the goal. So I have those files. Let's get to it. All right. So I'm gonna walk you guys right through this whole thing. So we will um, connect our HP Tuners unit. So hopefully you guys are familiar with this by now. So we're going to connect it to the OBD2 port. We are going to connect it to our laptop with the USB cable. We're going to turn our ignition to two clicks on to run. And just to be safe with my key list, I'm going to put it on the dash so it doesn't freak out if it's not there. We're going to leave the door open because apparently there's some weird stuff when you cycle the key. Um, and you're supposed to go cycle the key and go through that step. One guy said that he was having issues and when he left his door open, even though it's going to make this annoying chiming noise, some of his issues were resolved. So anyways, I have HP tuners open here. Um, this is the file he just sent me. So we were going to open it. And how you open it is very simple. Hopefully you guys can hear me over this dinging, but kind of what we got to deal with. You're going to see over here in the corner, you'll see a little file. You're going to hit that. You're going to open, select your tune. And now that it's here, you're just going to see this little chip here. Hopefully if my camera decides focus right there, you're going to see that chip with a little red arrow. And we're going to click it. And that's to write the tune to the vehicle. So you're going to see all this stuff here. It's going to populate what our vehicle is. And we're going to click write. So now the suspenseful part begins. It's going to go through its whole stage and process and whatever. So um, I'm going to let this run and then uh, once it gets the next step, um, it says racing, right, it's just going through its thing. So um, yeah, we'll let this run and uh, we'll see how it goes. But yeah, if you guys, I mean, I, I guess we can talk through this and see how far it goes, but having a ton of problems, um, some, some are really finicky problems and I'm hoping Said again, I don't want to jinx this thing, but some of them are a bit finicky. Like I was saying, somebody said to leave the door open while you uh, load a tune because when you cycle the key, you guys know how like when you're in your vehicle and you turn it off, right? And the dash stays on, both the dashboard and the um, and the stereo stays on. So the the whole cycle the key function, they're looking for the vehicle to be turned off um, and the computer to be off. But if you leave the door closed, the computer doesn't fully turn off. So um, one gentleman um, was saying that if you leave the door open that it'll fully shut off the computer as it should and um, I'm gonna try it so here we go so here's that um, that portion where I was saying where you have to turn the ignition off and cycle it and also just for good measure I am going to put my stopwatch on here so I'm gonna turn it off so we'll turn it off. We're gonna wait 10 seconds. So I am being as precise as possible with this whole thing to just make sure that we don't have issues because I am frankly over this. Okay, so there's 10 seconds and then you're supposed to turn it on. So we'll hit two clicks, but we won't start it of course. So we're in the run position. Now we're gonna hit okay. Okay, so the engine is completed, that wrote. And now it's saying waiting 15 seconds before trying the next controller. So the engine tune is in. Now it's writing the transmission tune. It says writing, erasing. About 30 seconds, which will be nice. So again, this is normal for, at least on my truck, it's normal that the dash goes black and the Uconnect 8.4 goes black while it goes through its writing process. Um, 
even though my battery is strong enough to start the engine, um, it was throwing an error code. HB Tuner has told me that my battery is a little low, so I do have some jumper cables hooked up just to make sure we maintain battery voltage. So this is the portion where uh, we were getting hung before, so let's see what happens. Okay, so here we go again with the turn ignition off. Wait 10 seconds. So let's restart our timer here. So we're going to turn ignition off. We're going to start our timer. We're going to wait 10 seconds. So there we go. And then we're going to Turn the ignition two clicks to run. And then we're going to go back to here and we're going to click OK. Cleaning up 100%. So this is where it got stuck. It didn't say completed, but it just said writing. So it's the exact same thing as before. Where it doesn't actually say completed, but apparently it's in there. So, um, according to Jay, the tune was in there, but for some reason it just doesn't want to finalize that last step where it says completed. We're still stuck on that one stage. Okay, so even though it didn't complete out, um, it still it said that it 100% completed, but it um, it didn't say completed on the actual screen. Um, Jay and I are going to confirm that the tune is actually in there because like I was mentioning the tune um, when we tried to pull read that tune was actually in there his transmission tune so I'm doing a complete read of the engine and the transmission to send to him and he's going to review the file that's in the truck and see if it matches what uh, what should be or if it's some sort of variation of stock so that's what we're doing right now we're going to let this complete and then uh, should be able to wrap it up all right, so here we go during the read process. We're at the turn ignition off stage. So ignition off, we'll start our timer. 10 seconds. And once that 10 seconds is up, we'll turn it back on. So the engine, uh, let's turn this on first and I'll continue talking. So we're in the run position. Go back to our screen. And we're going to click OK. So engine is completed, now it's reading the transmission. Well, it's about to, it says waiting 15 seconds before trying the next controller. And it'll begin reading the transmission, we hope. <coughs> there we go, reading transmission. About three minutes. So we'll let this run through, and then we'll see what the conclusion is. All right, so the transmission read is finishing up. We're back at this stage again, where we are going to turn the ignition off. And wait 10 seconds, but not before I get my timer on my phone out. And ready. Okay, so we got the timer. I'm gonna turn this off. All right, wait 10 seconds. Do do do, and then we're gonna turn it on. And then we're gonna hit OK. Completed. Okay, so red. I'm gonna send it off to him. We'll see what he says. All right, guys. So I went ahead and talked to Jay Green, and uh, the read that we did after we loaded everything, the TCM tune is in the truck. So good news on that part. Um, a little bit of weird stuff went on. Um, when I got the truck back, uh, it looks like there was a tune in the transmission control module, the TCM, and even though the dealer told me they flashed it back to stock, um, when I drove it over to the dealership, it felt very different, and um, transmission felt different, and I, I mentioned to Jay, I said, hey, I think maybe, I don't know if it's because I had it off, but it kind of feels like there may have, uh, there may be the tune in there or something, because it, it, even though I had the stock engine tune in there, the way that the transmission was shifting felt very different. I didn't know if it was because the battery was dead, but 
Um, turns out that his tune was the whole time in the transmission when we loaded it, even though it said it didn't complete. Never said it failed, but it just didn't get to the end of the completed stage and actually turn green and say completed. So, um, anyways, uh, I could potentially delay this, take it to the dealership, and try to get them to reflash the TCM, even though they said they did. I don't know what's going on there, but it does look at this point that the transmission control module does have Jay's tune in it. So if that's the case, then we can go ahead and uh, go ahead and install the kit. So right now I have everything loaded. Truck is behind me, and we have the transmission control um, module tune loaded. So Jay's transmission tune is in there, and also the um, the supercharger, the Pro Charger tune is in there as well. So I'm gonna rip through the the fuel injector stuff and the map sensor. I already covered that in the last video, and then switching over here. Um, we should be able to have this on this weekend, so don't mind my pressure washer. But there's the supercharger, there's the intercooler piping, that's it that's left out of the kit. So um, there are a bunch of brackets and stuff. You see the air filters over there, I got the stock uh, air box tray sitting there, but that's the meat and potatoes of this thing. We got some piping, so I'm hoping it doesn't take too long. There are some stuff, like I think you guys can see there's some radiator hoses and different stuff that you have to do. Um, and just a box full of little brackets and things of this nature, so um, yeah. I'm hoping that we can have it done this weekend. So you can see a bunch of pulleys and stuff. Here's the throttle body. I got a million of these things kicking around. Um, but yeah, you can see um, we just have a bunch of brackets and, and stuff and water necks and stuff of that nature to install. So this is a new thermostat housing, the billet one with this 45 degree angle on it. But Anyways, that's gonna do it for today's video, guys. Um, so overall, just to recap, uh, a lot better state than what we were in before. I'm happy that it loaded. Um, and I guess it did load even though it said it didn't, or it did it. Anyways, you guys saw what it did, just didn't say completed, but I guess it's in the truck. So if it's in the truck, I guess we're okay. But um, yeah, I'm excited. We're gonna be able to continue with this build. It was looking a little bit uh, dark there for a bit, but. I think we're back on track. Um, let me know what you guys think in the comments below um, of the whole scenario and uh, how you guys feel about this whole HP tuners, Diablo Sport debate, but um, I'd like to know what you guys think in the comments below. Anyways guys, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Um, thanks so much for watching. Thanks for your support and thanks for being patient with me because I know um, it's been testing my patience too, don't get me wrong, but at the same time, I think it's gonna be well worth it uh, once we get this in. So I'm hoping it's gonna be running this weekend um, and we'll be finally back on the road. But same time too, we're on Instagram, same spelling, at Boost Motorsports. Also, check out that Boost Motorsports uh, Facebook group. It's pretty cool. Uh, a lot of cool chats go on there too, and uh, I like interacting with people because you can go back and forth, and it's pretty cool. But anyways, wherever you guys want to follow along, is cool with me. See you in the next video when we uh, do the next step on this Pro Charger. Take care.